I feel excitement and enjoyment coming and seeing these oranges anywhere from five to six times a week. And it's really exciting to see the abundance that they produce. They're just loaded. Some of them have around 200 oranges a tree. Jared's estimate was about 6,000 oranges this year. They flower during the summer, which is pretty crazy. It's super hot in here and they're just covered in flowers and it smells amazing. And then towards the end of the summer, the fruit starts setting and developing and they mature throughout the winter. They will ride out January, February. We've had fruit on the tree all the way into April. We've got mostly the decopon citrus, uh, but there's also yuzus and limes and lemons, like the finger lime and the Meyer lemon. Uh, we also have some kumquats and some other mandarin types. The first phase of the planting was probably about four, almost five years ago now. They were transplanted from probably two to three gallon trees. They were about four feet tall. Uh, I think we're learning lessons every single day, every single year, but a majority of it is the, the nutritional needs that the citrus trees have as they age and mature. Probably the main fertilizers that we do use is an organic granular called citrus mix. It's kind of a broad spectrum but they do want more phosphorus for fruit development, it seems like. Part of learning what we're doing in developing these trees is moving towards more of a star-shaped canopy and getting the fruit to develop deeper in the branch versus on the edges, which really starts to weigh them down. And we do a lot of tying and trellising. Citrus are really hardy. They've been able to go from 100 plus down to 30 degrees and lower and still survive. So during the summer, these greenhouses, even with shade cloth and the exhaust fans going, they can still hit over 100 degrees. During the winter time, we keep the greenhouses uh, just above freezing, anywhere from 35 to 40, depending on the harshness of that, the weather at the time. But in order to do it here for us, we have to use propane heaters. Doing it is just one of the things to see if it's possible. We're still learning a lot from this experience of growing citrus in Southern Missouri. We'll continue to learn. It is, it is amazing to see oranges growing in Missouri. 